I've so been employed nine times since the start of this war. After 38 years as an air medic. Uh, twice to Afghanistan, once to Iraq. Chief Master Sergeant Saudi McVeigh's proudest achievement, her three children. Love the C-17, obviously. Sure. Daughter Paige followed mom into the Air Force. This is like when his is in basic training for Bryce. And son Bryce joined the Army. Bryce loved his brethren. You know, they were like really close. But during a 14-month deployment to Iraq, Bryce, a combat engineer, suffered burns, cuts, and a concussion from an IED blast. He said he felt like his, like his face had blown off. Bryce was never the same. When he came home, there were warning signs. I was deployed last year in Afghanistan, and my husband said, call me. And so, um, and I might cry, and I apologize. And so, <laughs> when I called, um, he said Bryce had shot himself. Prior to his death in 2017, Bryce's mother had asked if he was all right, but now wishes she had done more. Because you could see that he was sad. You could see that he was struggling, but he would never, uh, wait. You know, he told me, because you know, that's my job as a mom, and even as I know in the medical field that you need to ask somebody, do you have a plan, would you do something like that? And he was like, absolutely, mom, I would never do that. Chief Master Sergeant McVeigh is preparing her squadron for an overseas deployment next month. Before anyone leaves Joint Base Lewis McCord, she has organized an event this Saturday for service members to learn about resilience, suicides, warning signs, and the tools available for those who need help. There are so many young people that are in the military right now and even older people. Um, we all need something and we all have struggles. What can we do to make it better? She views it as a way to serve her country and her family. By losing Bryce, I want to give Bryce a legacy, something just to touch one more person because he didn't, because he didn't make it, but maybe somebody else, it, it would work for them. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Boy, a brave mother sharing her story. If you or someone you know needs help, there is help right now. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is free. It's available 24 hours a day. The number is on your screen. It's 800-273-TALK.